good afternoon and welcome to our Facebook Live this afternoon. My name's Jenny McCormack. Just knocking everything over. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Normally I am live here on a Thursday at 7pm but I completely forgot yesterday when I said we'd be here at 7 today that I'm out at the theatre this evening with um, to watch the local amateur dramatic society with some one act plays and of course that starts just after 7 o'clock so as I can't be in two places at one time, I've decided to bring forward our live to five o'clock and so that I have a little bit of time to prepare for going out this evening. So if you're catching me um, live, do say hi and let me know that you're here. I suspect most people will catch this one on replay either on YouTube or Facebook, so whichever is your preference. Um, and in which case, if you want to use hashtag replay, then I know that you're catching up with us um, after the event. So let us get cracking with some crafting. Okay, it's just come up with the message to say that I'm live. It takes a little while, doesn't it? Only two minutes in. So the stamp set that we have been using all week, you'll um, recognise this if you've seen any of them, the lives this week earlier, is Cheerful Basket. And I have um, a stack of, of cards made just with this stamp set. And you know that if I say, if I end up with lots of cards from the same stamp set, then that's a really good indicator that it is simple to use and you can create lots of different cards with it. I always think it's a really good indicator. So I'll flick through the ones that I've made and then we'll go on to some crafting. So there are um, four different fillings for our basket, including a cat, some crafting supplies, hearts and some apples. So we've got crafting supplies. Some of these are duplicated because I've done them um, at different coffee and cards. So that's the same one with just a note and different colourways. Um, got this one that I did yesterday with the lovely tulips in the basket and the sentiment from the tulip stamp set. We did the mirror stamping yesterday on our live here and that's got my two cats facing each other and then we have a cat and cat in the basket we have the hearts and then we have the apples and then finally we have the sunflowers this has been one of the popular uh, most popular ones I think from the comments um, the sunflowers in the basket. So today I'm going to use um, the basket but with some a different set of stamps and also some new cards and envelopes. So the cards and envelopes I'm using is called Texture Chic Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. You will find them on page 136 of the catalogue and the pack consists of and I'm just going to check this it says 20 cards and 20 envelopes on the outside it says one set that's really helpful isn't it I'm pretty sure 5 10 15 20 yeah so you get 20 cards and 20 envelopes for 11.25 that makes them about 56 pence Per card and envelope combined. This is the envelope, so it's got this lovely gold embossing. I'm hoping you can see that if I just angle it to the light. 
there's gold embossing on the front and on the envelope reverse and there's some patterning on the inside and the colours this uses is Mango Melody which is here Petal Pink Soft Suede and So Succulent so quite an unusual set of colours and not a normal set that I would necessarily pick out but I thought I'd use these for some flowers that will coordinate then with the cards and envelopes. So that's the envelope and this is the card. So it's white on the inside so you don't need to add any layers for stamping your sentiment and it's got this um, almost like a wood grain behind and then it looks like sort of spots of paint in those coordinating colours. Not sure how much of that you can see on the screen, hopefully enough. And so what I'm going to do is use this as my base. I'm going to stamp my basket onto a piece of soft succulent card. I've got a little scrap piece here, which is going to pick out the soft succulent from here. And then I'm going to stamp some flowers and cut these out from the Flowers of Friendship stamp set. Now this has some matching punch, so I'm just going to do some simple stamping, stamp onto some card and punch them out. And this is the punch, it's called Flowers and Leaves, and it punches the two different flower combinations and also the two leaves. So I thought it'd be really nice to stamp this in the background and then add the flowers on top. That's my plan. So it's always nice to use something slightly different and it's certainly a different combination of colours that I wouldn't normally use. So let's pop the card and envelope up, up out of the way for the minute. I have my soft succulent card and I'm going to grab the basket like so, pop it onto a block and I'm just going to stamp it here and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent or Soft Suede. Um, so let's start with Soft Suede because that is picked up in the card itself. So I'm just making sure this is well inked because I'm not sure how much. <laughs> I don't think there's hardly any ink on this ink pad. Let's have a look and see. Oh, well, there is a little. Let me try Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent. So Evening Evergreen, oh, sorry, is from our 2021 to 2023 in colours. Let's pop one here. Like that. I think I'm going to stick with that and then I can use soft succulent or maybe evening evergreen for the stalks. So I'm just going to cut this out um, nice and simply. And I've got some soft succulent blend pens so I can use that to do a little bit of colouring in. So I'm just literally going to cut this out really quickly. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Go. And this one here. Like so. So this is on soft succulent card and by stamping on straight onto the card it means you don't have to do so much colouring if you don't want to. You could stamp on quite a darkish card 
obviously you'll lose a um, little bit of the detail if you do that so I'm just using the dark soft succulent on the edge here so um, yesterday if you saw any of my Facebook posts I got all of our class in a box boxes dispatched and today I got our boxes for the May in colour club dispatch so I'm feeling I won't say I'm ahead of the game because I never seem to be quite ahead of the game but I'm further on than I might be okay so just adding a little bit of detail here down the side with dark soft succulent and then I'm just going to use the light sorry if I'm um, a little bit in shade there yes it's light okay and I think I'm going to leave the barrel pieces going across um, just slightly lighter just adding a bit of detail on there and just use a light brushing moment uh, motion lifting my pen up from the edge there okay so there's our basket and then here's our texture chic cards and envelopes so my plan is to pop this on here stamp the stalk from flowers of friendship and then stamp and cut out some of the flowers so i've added those in a 3d um, design so I already have some fun enough cut here, but they're not the colours that I need, sadly. Otherwise, they would have been perfect. So I'm just going to grab these two flowers. And you'll notice on my flowers that I've got dots. If you can see them, I've marked them with a pen. And that's because I've coordinated the dots on here so that I know which way these are when I stamp and cut them out so if I stamp this one with the dot at the bottom and then this one with the dot at the top I know that they will fit perfectly into my punch well shall I say that's the theory let me grab a slightly bigger block for this this one will fit which it does so let's move the envelope out so I don't make a mess of that so I could do it here and have a sentiment to the right or I could do it here and have a sentiment at the top I think I'm going to do it this way just so I've got a little bit more to play with so I'm going to do the same as we did previously which is position my basket along the bottom bring the basket down a little bit and draw a line in pencil and that's going to be my line to work out where I'm going to put my flowers. And actually with this um, really pretty um, paper and card, it's got lines on it. So you could work out roughly where that would need to be anyway. So let's try. I'm going to stamp in soft succulent. And then my flowers 
are going to be Petal Pink and Mango Melody to match the envelope. So definitely an unusual combination for me. So let's ink this up. Now this is soft succulent ink and I just want to try it on an off cut. Yes, I think that will be dark enough. Okay. So I'm just going to use this as a an idea whether I want one or two and I think I'm going to do two I was thinking of three but I think it's a bit tight for space but I can put my flowers on there anywhere I want because I'm going to use 3d flowers I want to make sure that I'm not overlapping too much. Okay, so there's my background flowers and my basket is going to go there like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is stamp Stamp my flowers and actually I'm going to colour them in. So, <laughs> just deliberating what colour, deliberating what colour to do that. So let's have a little go with these. So if I look at my punch here, I know that this dot needs to be at the top. So I'm just going to turn that round and I'm just going to try it all in soft succulent. Two, three, do a couple more. like so and then I've got the little one as well and for this one I've got that little one going at the bottom like so now in the centers you can color these in or you could use gems it's a little bit close that one So just going to pop these along here and I could also um, punch out these leaves because the leaves on here coordinate with these leaves here. So what I could do is um, stamp onto my soft succulent and cut those out and put those on top. Okay, let's cover this one up. So let's have a quick look. So I'm just going to do a quick amount of colouring. So I need Mango Melody and Petal Pink. And I'll take my glasses off. So I just need to grab those colours of pens, Mango Melody and Petal Pink. And this dark Petal Pink. So I'm just thinking I might try this in 
That's Daffodil Delight, not Mango Melody. dark let's just try this and see what it looks like so I've got the dark for the middles like so and you can just take individual flowers and put these on here but I think what I'm going to do is actually cover up the flowers that are there with these ones now it may or may not work so for those of you that have just joined us thank you so much do say hi if you're watching live and then i'm just going to use the lighter one so this is light mango melody like so Go. it's been quite a dull old day today the sun has been out for short periods of time but it's quite blustery out there okay. so I stamped more than I will probably need that's okay so I've got a couple like that and then I'm going to do a couple in petal pink so this um, one I bought in July and opened in July 2018 um, so a lot of people do ask me how long they last and like many things it's variable depending on how long you use them for what you're using them for whether you leave the lids off for any length of time you know how long is a piece of string basically but this one's been open nearly four years and I use light petal pink for inside of the animal ears for example or adding a little bit of um, blush to a face okay. and I recommend you color your flowers in before you cut them out it's a lot easier because once you've cut them out you've only got a tiny little bit to hold on to Okay, so I've stamped this in soft succulent, which is not what I normally do, but I want to pick up this green that's on here and the petal pink and man mango melody are from the background of this card. There we go. I think what I'm going to do is put pink in the middle of the yellow flowers and yellow in the middle of the pink flowers I might put some gems on there especially those larger ones oh. okay so let's punch these out so I've got this punch here hopefully I have lined it up with the right bit at the top which I have because that makes that a lot easier because it's not um, not symmetrical this one okay 
do this one here. And then this I'm going to cut along the middle. Got a magnet on my scissors. Okay. And hopefully I haven't turned that round. So I'm going to start at this side. just cuts into it very slightly. I should have allowed a little bit more space in between. So there's one. that bit off as well. So I might need, I am going to use a little bit of card to insert onto that, to hold it in place. Ooh. So I've just put this on the side. Hopefully I haven't turned the flower around in the meantime. Just to make it easier to hold and pop in the punch. Like that. And then we'll do the same with this one. So let's have a look what we've got in terms of our flowers. So we've got flowers already on there. But I'm just going to effectively <laughs> cover them up. Put one there. I'm going to put another one on there and one here. And what I might do is I might double up on these so that I've got double flowers. If I just show you that, like so, on there, so they're a bit fuller. So I'm just going to do two more of those. So I've got them all ready, I just need to colour them in. And these were Mango Melody. And I'm pretty sure I stamped these this way, she says. Famous last words. Now, if this was going underneath, I don't actually need to colour the whole thing in. But as this is fairly quick, I'm probably still going to do that. So what you can do, if you're stamping a whole set of these, is you could write on here that this is the top from your um, stamp, like that. And then you'll know that that's, when you cut those out, they'll be in the right position, if that makes any sense. 
So I'm just going to do two of these like so. So if you have just joined us, the colours I'm picking out are the colours from the uh, background of this paper. So do say hi. So I'm just blending this little bit out, leaving a little bit of a gap at the end. Like so. But I, I have to say, I think Mango Melody is my favourite yellow. Normally I used to like Daffodil Delight, but this is um, just a little bit more vivid and a bit of a deeper colour. And I know this is getting low, this particular one. I have some spares of these. I do tend to keep duplicates of my regular colours. Right, let's chop this little bit off so it's out of the way of the punch. And then hopefully I've still got this in the right direction. There we go. It's very annoying when you turn them around without thinking about it and then you at least there's only four petals so there's only four places that this can fit. I suppose that helps doesn't it. Okay so I'm going to double these up so that they cover those over like so and you can use a bone folder for the petals you could also use an embossing folder um, an embossing tool that's the word <laughs> um, to help with that so I've got them going over like that and I'll put the one that I've coloured the centres on on the top but I might put gems on here anyway four and you can see hopefully the difference between the one that's lying flat and the ones that are raised up I need to put my glasses on to see oh well, hi Christine hope you're keeping well thank you so let us put these together oh, let's do this one So, and then just a drop of glue in the centre of these two, one and two. I do like to show people different uses of the stamp set because, you know, we all need to be careful on money that we're spending. And if I can show people more ways of getting something out of a stamp set or, you know, looking at it in different ways, then hopefully that will help everybody. So I'm just turning these round a little bit like that. Okay. And then I've got these ones here, which I'm going to leave, I think, single. So I've got one here and one here. And I think I'm going to pop those on with dimensional a dimensional behind just to help keep that um, height. And then I've got these ones here that I'm going to pop just over these flowers one two and did I have four 
just I imagine that completely like so might do one more actually so I can angle those okay let's pop do one of these in petal pink light and dark so no idea why I started not at the end but never mind thank you Christine and so our basket I've stamped on soft succulent which is the green that you can find in the back of the papers so that was the whole idea was to use the colours of the card as my colour palette and definitely not a combination that I would normally use that is for sure okay I'm just wondering whether to have these doubled up as well or not. So that one sort of covers those two together. What do we think? So, separate flowers or put those together? I can't decide. So let's just do... them doubled up chop that one up put it all together thank you <laughs> why not my little stalk on there again so what I should have done was just space those a little bit further so they didn't get in each other's way it doesn't take a minute to just do that I hope I haven't turned it in the meantime do it that way <clears throat> one two three four five so I'm just going to do a double one on there and we're done okay so 
with this one my dot is at the bottom and I'm using soft succulent not a colour I use for stamping flowers generally but we'll do the job and then in terms of my sentiment I could put it across here actually or I could put it on my basket or if it was very narrow I could put it on the top so from the sentiments with flowers of friendship I've got many thanks from all of us little card big thanks thank you for everything so I might use I will use one of those um, so Christine this is in the um, the flowers are in the current catalogue but the um, basket is in the new catalogue so if you like I will pop one of those in the post unless you've already got one and there's um there's also a really good joining offer at the moment because we have our new in colours and if that's of interest and you want to join then you get £62.50 worth of in colour products so you get all of the inks get a selection of card papers and grid paper absolutely free on top of your normal starter deal so I'll happily pop that information in with the catalogue I will do that I will take it with me ready to catch the um, post tomorrow and I'll pop details of the starter kit in there the um, starter kit offer finishes May 31st, so next week. But obviously the catalogue lasts for a whole year. Okay, so let's pop this on there. Like so. So this basket I've mixed with all sorts of sets. So you can just look and see what um, sets you've got, for example. Now, I'm just going to play with these. That looks a little bit too regimented. So, and I quite like that covering up two flowers. <laughs> and I haven't stuck those together yet. That looks like it works quite nicely. Okie dokie, no worries. So, um, just let me know. You can always add refills to your starter kit or just order them separately. Okay, it's that one. I did put those together. Right, there we go. So I think that balances quite nicely with this up high. This one covering that flower there, like so. So I'm going to put dimensionals behind the two Mango Melody flowers. And I should have some to hand. I've got some little ones that they'll do nicely. Actually, I've just cut this piece here. So I hope you've managed to keep um, crafting, Christine. There's that one there. Mm -hmm. Gonna pop two on here. No worries, well I'm nearly finished anyway, and you can watch the rest on catch up anyway. But it's um nice to have you join us, Christine. Thank you. 
and I'm going to pop these on with glue like so There we go. My basket is going to go on with dimensionals as well. And again, you can curve this really nicely with your bone fold if you want to. It makes a um, see find one that I've done here with the with the cats. This has got a real nice curve on it. So double height dimensionals in the middle and then single height or glue either side for those. Okay. Soften that a little bit. Pop that on here. And because I dropped it down from our pencil line, I don't need to rub the pencil line out. It's all covered up. Like so. And I think what I'm going to do is I've got soft succulent stamp and write marker. And I'm not going to use a um, blends, uh, blends pen because I don't want it to go through to the other side, which it often does with a blends pen. So I'm just going to use a small amount of ink for my stamp and write marker for these leaves. Like so. So the stamp and write marker is like the ink pad, so it's a water-based one. Like that. A little bit more there. There we go. Don't want it to detract really from the rest and I could use a blends pen to move that around but I'm just going to leave it as is okay so my last thing I need to do is just add a sentiment to all of that so I love this backing on this card as I say it's like a wood grain so let me show that to you there and this is the coordinating envelope so it's picked up the same, I picked up the same colours basically and it's got that lovely gold embossing on there. So I'll just tab, um, pop on a sentiment. See if I've got a smallish die cut that will do the job. It's a bit big, I was just thinking a little strip would do. I've got some banners here somewhere. right at the bottom there's a couple here oh, that looks a bit small that would work on there but it needs to be a little bit bigger than that hmm. no nope. right this is a longer one that's better 
so on here I've got thank you for everything if that will fit no <laughs> is the answer to that so let's grab our new go-to greetings and this has got just a note and thank you but it's got got them in different sizes and styles so i'm going to try this thank you or just a note here there's the thank you it's a bit big so let's go down a size just a note It might end up with a happy birthday. They want something big enough for you to see it. Okay, so let's use Evening Evergreen, the darker green. Because that's what I used on the bit there, just so it stands out nicely. block than that okay so my usual trick if I'm trying something out is to stamp on the back of it first see whether it fits and whether it looks the right sort of size quite sure where to put it actually but it will definitely fit assuming I can do it again okay so that's going to be our final touch apart from some oops that was the magnet apart from some centers for those flowers so i'm just deliberating whether that goes in the middle on some dimensionals or whether i put it on the basket i think it's going to go there just pop some bling on and we're done what we've got I've got iridescent rhinestones that would look nice and I'm pleased to say that we do actually have some tweezers coming up for sale in our new um, Christmas catalogue so let's see this is the middle sized one two like so And then I'll put the small one on here. And what's quite nice, because they're iridescent, you can see through. So because I've got different colours underneath, they show through a little bit. So there's our little bit of bling on there. So I've just got to decide where my happy birthday is going to go. That's my final bit. Oh, 
rhinestones stones away. I think I'm going to put it just there. And what I might add <coughs> potentially is some petal pink ribbon behind it. But this will do for now. So there we go. There we go. There's our finished card design. So I hope you like that. So thank you very much for joining me today. Whether you've been watching live or whether you're watching or have watched on catch up. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed the week of our use of Cheerful Basket with all the various designs. So I do have a playlist on my YouTube channel um, called Stamp Set of the Week. And you will find all of my um, selected stamp sets that I've chosen on there in a playlist. So do hunt through those or you can just search for the name of the stamp set on my YouTube channel and you'll find all of that information. So thank you so much. Hope you like the finished design. This uses the texture chic cards and envelopes um, and that's all ready for you to sign. Put your name on the back to say that you made it and um, there we go. So thank you so much. Um, this is the end of our lives for this week, um, Thursday. Um, we'll be back on Monday and we do have coffee and cards tomorrow, Friday, in, in Brackley, and on Monday in Toaster. So if you're local to us here in Northamptonshire, you'd be most welcome to join us. And I look forward to catching up with you soon, either live or in person. No, either live or online. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Do take care. Thanks for watching. And uh, do keep crafting. Bye for now.